Hey everybody, welcome to Dad Talk. Today we are live at Freedom Fest 2021 in Rapid City, South Dakota, and I'm here with Mr. Dave Rubin. Dave, how you doing? It's good to be with you. I'm doing a lot of talking today, so we'll see what happens over the next five minutes. There I could actually go. just run out of words in the middle of a sentence. We'll see. All right, man. Biden style, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I know you do the Rubin Report, but yeah. tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Wow, that's an open-ended question to start with. Uh, well, I would say I'm a uh, radical freedom extremist at this point. I believe that people should live free with minimal government intervention. I think you should find something that you love in your life and go for it and, and make it happen. I think my life is an example of that. And, and I think if I'm sort of, if I'm good at one thing, it's that I can sit down with a lot of interesting people who are experts in their field, whether they're scientists or psychologists or politicians or technologists, and I can help uh, sort of distill some of that down so that the average person who just wants to go to work and have kids and play video games or just live their life uh, can take a little bit of it in and hopefully incorporate it into their life and live a more uh, fulfilling life. Yeah, Dave, you're talking about going after what you love, and you know, for most people that's going to be their family, being yeah. a father, loving their kids. Yeah. Unfortunately, we got a fatherless crisis going on in America right now. We do. And uh, there's so many different things that are fueling that. I I'm curious, where do you think that this stems from? Oh, there's a lot of reasons for that. I would recommend that you talk to Larry Elder if you can grab him while he's here because to. he's been talking about this stuff forever. I mean, look, we simply know, as you know, I, I toured with Jordan Peterson for about a year and a half and he talked about this, the importance of intact families, the importance of marriage, the importance of fathers, the importance of two parents. That doesn't mean, and Jordan would often say this, that doesn't mean that a one parent, uh, you know, a mother that if the father left, that a mother can't do a great job. But the ideal situation, of course, we all know this to be true inherently. My, my parents have been married 40s, uh, 48 years or so, 49 years. I think, yeah, 50 years next year. And it's like, I love the fact that not only did my parents stay together the whole time, but me, my brother, and my sister are all functional adults. We're all doing good in the world. I go home. It's the same house that I grew up in. That, that base is what society is built on, actually. So you always want to defend that base. And we're in this really weird time where they're trying to destroy everything right. that we always knew. So it isn't to say that you can't have some untraditional family structure that doesn't work. Of course it could work. There's always, there's always outliers in the system. But for the system to mostly work, you want a father, you want a mother. I, I personally don't have a problem if it's two fathers or two mothers. You just want something that, that is good and caring and loving and decent and that will remain over the test of time. And, and that is under assault right now. Absolutely, and the nuclear family has been a target for a while now. You know, uh, people have been celebrating as of late, the divorce rate is the lowest it's ever been. And for the most part, you would think, oh man, that's a great thing. But uh, it's because marriage is at an all-time It's because, low. yeah. People are cohabiting, they're not getting married anymore. And I have to believe it's got a lot to do with like the family law court rules mm. and what people are seeing once divorce happens, some of the dangers that you can get into. I I'm curious. What, what are some solutions you think that we could do here in America, even as media, to really promote that traditional nuclear family and get it back to the, the core values? Well, I think it's a lot about just responsibility. Like, you really have to think about your life seriously. Like, what kind of person do you want to be? And a lot of people, I think, right now especially, they're on sort of like permanent childhood yep. forever. It's like, you know, back if you think to probably our grandparents' age, my grandparents on both sides were married when they were... I think my grandma on uh, my mom's side was 19, my grandma on the other side was about 21, my, both of my grandfathers were about 20, something like that. And then that meant I had great grandparents for a long time in my life. So I had an extra generation. I actually had great grandparents longer than I had grandparents um, due to health, health stuff. Um, but what you want to show people is think about your life, really. Like, yes, can you play Fortnite every day, all day long? Can you watch porn every day, all day long? Can you feed whatever your whatever that hole in is with you can you do that all day long every day like you can and I'm not even a, I'm not uh, someone here preaching you shouldn't do anything all the time and you're allowed to have your indulgences and I, I like some wine and I like some tequila you're allowed to do your thing but but think about your life like what do I really want to do while I'm here and I think for a lot of people actually Jordan would say this often for a lot of people you can uh, for most people he would say you you being a parent is, a, is an integral part of life, that to, to really live a fully actualized life, that you have to be a parent. He said some people can find the intellectual pursuits outside that give them just enough. 
but most people can't. And I think that's probably right. Yeah, and being a dad completely changed my life, man. It, it helped me grow up. Unfortunately, we see like the divorce courts right now. It's a sixty billion dollar industry. Yeah. We talk a lot right. about the fatherless issue, and it usually the narrative is from like the deadbeat dad that abandoned the home. And no doubt, there are those. There, there are those deadbeat moms. But for the most part, that wouldn't be a sixty billion dollar industry with guys that weren't fighting to be inside their children's lives. Right now, the average is eighty three point five percent of these dads end up without custody of their children. And we're trying to get some laws and legislation going in the country, but it just seems like we come, keep coming up to a dead end. Yeah. Uh, there, there's a lot of special interests, lobbyists, that's going in there, and I don't believe those conversations are held enough, especially in our uh, mainstream media. But, you know, are you a father? I'm not. We're actually working on it. We've unfortunately in the last year had uh, had two miscarriages, but we're sorry, brother. Yeah, we're working on it. We're working well, on it. well, let me ask yeah. you. You know, when you become a father and you're hearing about all these different scenarios that's going on with the fatherless epidemic right now, how will that impact and uh, the, the way you plan on being? A yeah, father? I mean, it's a great question. I think about it a lot. Like, I, I really will do the best I can to, to, to create a home that is a, a, a safe place, not a safe space, but a safe place for for my child son or daughter to, to live and thrive and, and hopefully feel loved and to give them the tools to pursue what it is that they want to pursue. I know it's easier said than done, but that's the plan for now and we'll go from there. Yeah, man. Yeah. Dave, I appreciate you so much for yeah. coming by. Tell everybody where they yeah. can keep up with you. I know you do the Rubin Report. Tell us yeah. a little bit about what you're doing. Go to rubinreport.locals.com. That's the place where you can get all my stuff. And it's my tech company and we're doing some good stuff over there. Awesome. How was that? I leaned in. I felt that was Yeah, very, yeah. I very, like very, very professional. Awesome. Dave, right. thank you so much. Right man. on, bro. Hey, everybody. Eric Carroll here. Thank you for tuning in to another exciting episode of Dad Talk Today. While we fight for you, we would ask for you to please help fight for us. Like, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell so you get notifications every time we go live. There's also Super Chats, patreon.com slash dadtalktoday, and other ways you can support our channel. Thank you for being here, and we will see you next time.